the other day I made a video and I was talking about how dressing a certain way or carrying yourself a certain way would help keep the dusties away. Now that is not a foolproof plan. I do understand, but it is something when you are dressed a certain way that looks like that person is high maintenance. Now, I had a friend send me an email talking about what it was like growing up in in money, having money, having parents that taught education was important and how the Dusties are responding to her. Let's get into this story time. Okay, she says, I recently discovered how much broke men do not like the idea that they do not have access to black women that grew up in an upper middle class to wealthy environment. As a daddy's girl, I still continue to exist in the upper middle class home and as an adult due to her own educational and vocational opportunities. And guess who especially has issues with black women who grew up in this and continue to remain in this socioeconomic class? Dusty broke black men. In particular, and to be honest, other races of men never really have complained about my degrees and financial status. Even well-to-do black men don't complain about women obtaining a degree or having wealth. More and more over the past three to five years, I have run into more men when they find out about my background as a daughter of a loving, supportive dad and did not grow up poor and still isn't poor and having several degrees. They have a lot of resentment about it and try to either use negging or just outright insult me by saying I was too privileged. Well, of course I am. I grew up that way and I'm not ashamed of it, but they try to make women that are in our socioeconomic status ashamed of it and that's stupid. We won't ever be ashamed of it. And to be honest, for most women that are upper middle class or wealthy, we generally don't even entertain dusties. Even as women, as black women and encouraged to seek out black and other types of men that are more of our socioeconomic status, most of us are raised to be considered princesses and are expected to marry or date men within that same social I grew up in a home that would be considered like the show's Blackish or the Cosby show and were primarily surrounded by relatives that praised higher education, financial stability, and stay away from people who were struggling. I think that this would be a perfect jump off into what Ebony K. Williams was saying about who she would and would not date. This all goes together in standards and expectations.